CHR 7, in pursuit of Lipatine slay suspects, human rights must still be upheld. Amid the public outrage on the brutal murder of Aleppo Lipatine, the Commission on Human Rights in Central Visayas, CHR 7, said that law enforcement agencies must still work within the boundaries of the law in seeking justice. Lawyer Arvin Auden, the director of CHR 7, said he understands the sentiments of the public with regards to the brutal killing of 16-year-old Christine Siloan, with many calling on the death penalty to be imposed on the suspects of the murder. But Orden reminded everyone that human rights must still be upheld in the pursuit of the suspects. Case about Manton Gan Naglagot in Gatawu. Naglagot said ta. Peradili man NATO Nasilab wed I paid penalty K that has been outlawed in 2006, said Audren. Audren said that, at most, the suspects, when proven guilty, will face the highest penalties of the land which is reclusion perpetua or lifetime imprisonment. Reclusion perpetua means that the accused will spend no less than 40 years in prison while life imprisonment means the accused will remain in prison for the rest of his or her life. Audren said that they will be supporting the law enforcement agencies such as the police and the National Bureau of Investigation NBI in the pursuit of the three suspects of Christine's death. The CHR 7 is conducting its own investigation to help the law enforcement agencies to find the suspects faster. However, Audren said that they will also be monitoring the pursuit of these suspects to make sure that the police or the NBI do not violate human rights if and when they are arrested. Bantai and Sad Nato Yang Gas suspects it to Kapnila, while it would give violate Dila human rights, said Audren. Audren urged the police to conduct accurate operations and make sure that any person of interest or suspect arrested will not be brutally forced to admit the crime. Let's also avoid arresting the innocent. K Basin Isle Dak Banai Alan Giadi Aisala, said Audren. <laughs>